Hi, let's talk about the course of the vagus nerves through the posterior mediastinum. In this video, we'll discuss the courses and major branches of both vagus nerves through the thorax. The stories are going to begin higher though. Uh, recall that the vagus nerve leaves the skull through the jugular foramen along with the glossopharyngeal and accessory nerves. So therefore nerves 9, 10, and 11 all leave through the jugular foramen along with the internal jugular vein. Uh, the vagus is going to remain within the carotid sheath whereas glossopharyngeal and accessory quickly leave the sheath at that point. Also internal carotid will be bound within the carotid sheath and as we descend down uh, internal jugular vein vagus and common carotid will be the major constituents of that sheath. Now, as the vagus descends the cervical region, it's going to give off two sets of cardiac branches uh, to the autonomics of the thorax. Superior cardiac branches, which come off quite high and intermingle with branches from the superior cervical ganglion of the sympathetic trunk, as well as inferior cardiac branches, that are more distal in the cervical region. There are, of course, other branches of vagus throughout the neck, but none that are relevant to the thorax. Now, as we get to the root of the neck, we will still keep in mind that vagus is descending within that carotid sheath. And on the right side, the right vagus at the root of the neck is going to give off the right recurrent laryngeal nerve. That nerve is going to head toward the tracheoesophageal groove up towards the larynx. And it's going to give off branches to the deep cardiac plexus as well as the pulmonary plexuses. On the left side, the left vagus nerve makes it further inferior and it's giving off the left recurrent laryngeal nerve around the level of the uh, thoracic plane at about the concavity of the arch of the aorta. Both of these uh, vagus nerves at this point, as they transition from the root of the neck to the superior mediastinum, will have an intermediate course that will take them between the arteries and the veins in that region between the root of the neck and the superior mediastinum. So recall um, the right vagus nerve uh, gives off the right recurrent laryngeal nerve at the root of the neck that heads towards the tracheoesophageal groove. Um, the right vagus nerve then also heads towards that tracheoesophageal groove. We can see the right recurrent laryngeal nerve there, and here is the right vagus kind of pulled away from where it, uh, it would naturally sit. Uh, the branches coming from the vagus in the superior mediastinum are going to serve the deep cardiac plexus, the pulmonary plexuses, as well as the esophageal plexus. It's not a mystery that that will happen because a lot of the fibers, both sympathetic and parasympathetic, are going to be held in common among the various autonomic plexuses of the thorax. Here is that left vagus nerve descending through the superior mediastinum, and as it transitions more towards uh, that thoracic plane, which we can see here, we can see it giving off the left recurrent laryngeal nerve. We can see that left recurrent laryngeal nerve ascending out of the superior mediastinum via that tracheoesophageal groove up towards the larynx. And that left vagus nerve from its course in the superior mediastinum will similarly give off uh, branches that will serve cardiac plexuses, pulmonary plexuses, and esophageal plexuses. It, uh, it bears probably repeating that these branches serving autonomic plexuses from the vagus nerves are going to carry preganglionic parasympathetic fibers. As the vagus is a major source of preganglionic parasympathetic fibers uh, throughout the, uh, the neck 
thorax and uh, four in mid guts in the abdominal cavity. Now we are firmly within this session. These vagus nerves, uh, after they have descended from the superior mediastinum, are now in the posterior mediastinum. Um, they are going to enter the posterior mediastinum posterior to the roots of the lungs. So those main stem bronchi and pulmonary arteries and veins, the vagus nerves will be uh, posterior to those elements. The left vagus nerve is going to take more of an anterior course. The right vagus nerve, which we can see a little bit of here, is going to take more of a posterior course, and it will have a much more posterior course as it's more distal along the esophagus. We can see the esophagus here. Um, and it's at this point in the posterior mediastinum that uh, the vagus nerves no longer exist. They are transformed into vagal trunks and will have an anterior and a posterior vagal trunk. That right vagus nerve is going to become the bulk of the posterior vagal trunk. That posterior trunk will include some fibers from the left vagus nerve. The left vagus nerve will become the anterior vagal trunk, and that trunk will include some fibers from the right vagus nerve. So there isn't 100% fidelity between nerves and trunks, but for the most part, that lovely mnemonic LARP, left anterior, right posterior, uh, should allow you to remember the bulk of the innervation for the vagal trunks. Um, these trunks are going to be the dominant source of preganglionic parasympathetic fibers to the esophageal plexus. The esophageal plexus is uh, an integral part of the gut tube conducting uh, materials bound for the stomach from the pharynx. Um, the anterior trunk, which we can see here, uh, is going to be a rather minor part of the parasympathetics to the foregut. Um, it will serve some parts of the, uh, the anterior stomach as well as a portion of the, uh, the liver and hepatobiliary tree. But the dominant parasympathetic flow to the foregut and the midgut will be the posterior vagal trunk, as we'll discuss. So we have discussed the, uh, the pathway of the vagus nerves left and right from the jugular foramina down the neck within the carotid sheath through the root of the neck, the superior mediastinum, and the posterior mediastinum. We've also discussed the, uh, the major branches to various thoracic autonomic plexuses. This is your summary slide. Thank you for your time.